Kamusta? Good day everyone. Pasensya na po kayo. I can't able to upload for the past week because uh, my schedule get so busy. But for today, I will show you the tutorial and productive uh, method of massage therapy. The distress back massage. Let us talk about massage therapy. Massage therapy is manipulation of the soft tissues of the body for relaxation or therapeutic purposes. And by the way, sorry for keep on talking English, mga kabayan, trying hard lang, no? Because um, I was a trainer of Filipino Institute and uh, I have a lot of uh, students on different nationalities. So, this serves as a recap for them. If they uh, watch my video, they can remember what we uh, learned last time in the session at Filipino Institute. There are two types of massage therapy. The other one is the relaxation, which is it helps to relieve the pain, it helps to uh, relieve stress, depression, anxiety, and it helps uh, to stimulate the blood circulation. The other one is the therapeutic massage. This is a kind of massage which helps for rehabilitation, for uh, draining. Uh, for example, those who had post-surgery uh, like liposuction or any kind of cosmetic surgery, it requires lymphatic drainage massage, which is includes two therapeutic massage. Or those who are have a mild uh, sprain, or some kind of dislocation, it can help them. Massage can help them in a very proper way. As a registered or licensed massage therapist, we have limitations. We are not allowed to diagnose any kind of sickness. We are not allowed to uh, prescribe any kind of medicine. Otherwise, let us just advise our client to take the regular uh, procedure. Let us say drink a lot of water, Okay, walk for 30 minutes, take an exercise, observe the diet. Or, that is a normal way how we can say to our client. But we are not allowed to give any prescription. I made this video for everyone because uh, as of the situation now, it is not uh, advisable to go out for a massage. So it will help us if we ourselves knows how to do massage to avoid uh, exposure outside and uh, to avoid exposure to anybody. You know, as a professional therapist, we have to observe number one is decency. Wear your proper uniform. Have a very light scent of your uh, fragrance or uh, perfume. And uh, try to be modest for yourself to gain respect from your clients, okay? It is needed for us to talk uh, politely, uh, try to uh, have a conversation with the client in a proper way so that we can achieve the confidence of our client. The first thing we should do is to evaluate the health condition of our client. This is one of the very important thing we have to do before we initiate the sessions of massage. We have to observe the blood pressure of the client. If she or he has a post-surgery or is she or he is taking uh, medication, we have to ask that politely to our client. Within three to five minutes of conversation with the client, it is very important for us to know you know, massage needs a lot of uh, effort and energy. We have to spend uh, long hours doing this job. Sometimes one hour, sometimes two hours. 
it depends what is the client's preference so it is very important to us to know how we reserve our energy and one of the technique is the body weight technique now if you want to learn more regarding this uh, details keep on following my youtube channel and i will give you one by one to elaborate what are these uh, important things we have to learn when you want to be a massage therapist back massage is one of the effective way to relieve the pain of our loved ones of, or our client and that is one of the common complaint among the people to the hard work due to sitting due to driving or doing a lot of chores at home it is you know our back is very sensitive when we talk about these issues proper gesture one thing is that when you are facing a client give them a very good smile a good greeting and don't ever ever cross your hands across your client while talking to them because this is a sign of rejection so from the very beginning the client will be upset and the other one is that don't take a deep breath while doing the massage you can take but don't let your client hear it other thing is that avoid too much conversation with your client while doing the massage let them relax if they open the conversation okay just answer it and then after that don't open any talk so for now let's go mga kamamita i've been talking a lot so let's go now i will show you my own technique of back massage we have a lot of uh, techniques on uh, massage but i will show you my own technique and it depends upon you if you want to get it or if you have your own technique that's okay maybe you can take a little bit from me or maybe i can learn from you as well it's give and take it doesn't mean that i am sharing my knowledge i i am not a willing to learn from you so you can give comment down below and uh, I will appreciate it much and uh, once again if you want to learn more about massage therapy please please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the button bell so uh, you will be updated with my next video because uh, I will uh, continue giving you the details on massage therapy if ever you want to study and test that so that you can have your NC2, you have the light idea. It is not hard for you. Okay? So let's go mga kamamita. Now, we will start the warm-up. The purpose of warm-up is to prepare the client whatever the kind of massage she wants to be and uh, to let her determine the pressure that she wants. To prepare her muscles for the coming session of massage we have to put a proper graping to our client for her protection uh, not to let her feel cold and for to prevent her private parts during the massage Now I'm going to start the oil with the massage. My one tip is when you're having this kind of massage, always keep in touch with your client. While doing the other hand, let the other hand hold her just to let her know that you're always present on her. And that is how I spread the oil on her back that is the feathering and penetrating the oil on her skin and uh, 
trying to evaluate what the pressure she, na- she wants to be. Just continue on rubbing her or the, the efflorads, that is the efflorads, and Swedish massage. Keep your fingers or hands one inch away from the spine on both sides. Don't make the stroke on the spine. Just uh, penetrate the pressure on the muscular area of the back. press slowly the base of her skull in a rotate rotate press uh, move try to press there slowly only because neck is one of the endangerment sites of the body and uh, we have to be aware doing this that's why I'm asking you to check the blood pressure of your client because this technique is not advisable for clients who's having high blood pressure. Just do a very, very mild uh, pressing on this area. You can do a lot of repetitions on every techniques because it depends how long will you perform the massage. And uh, try to concentrate on the areas where the pain is uh, triggered. Now I am using my two forearms on her back to accumulate the whole area of her back and to give a deeper pressure on her, especially on the lower back area. We all know that lower back is one of the main issues also when we talk about back massage. covered my client already and uh, instead of wiping the oil at the back of my client I did a little bit dry massage on top of the towel just to remove the oil and uh, to give a little bit pressure again on her to make her back massage complete and uh, to remove the excess oil on her back and not to feel greasy when she finished the massage. At this point, using my weight, I'm pressing
pressing the back of my client with my elbow and uh, I'm trying to lift or stretch the arm of my client try to uh, adjust her flexibility when you are doing this always check the tolerance of your client Now, I'm doing a light stretching at the neck area of my client. Within this move, the pressure is at the back area, not on the head. As you can see, my right hand is just a support at the head of my client. I'm pushing the back area and trying to stimulate the base of the skull slowly just to relax her and to let the blood circulation flow properly. At this point, I'm doing tapotment at the back of my client. Tapotment is very important to release the toxins and to let the blood flow properly it helps a lot also for lung congestion among the clients for the final touch i let my client to turn on a supine position and uh, i give her a head massage to complete the session and let her rest because she's facing down for like 30 minutes Thank you very much. That is the whole procedure of my back massage. Hope you like and please don't forget to subscribe, comment down below whatever the things you want to learn more. And I'm gonna show you more on my next videos. Paalam!